Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series and the Kingdom Living Bible Study course and brand new, the Pocket Guide series. And today I'm going to go over tongues and how important it is and what the Bible says about it. So, oh, my cats are fighting back here, so if you hear that, that's what it is. Um, so, first I want, for, for the tongue haters or the ones that think that tongues is not today and it's of the devil, hey, guys, put your fighting. <laughs> um, this is for them or if you want to convince anybody that tongues is for today I think that tongues is one of the most fought over issues in the Christianness, Christian kingdom whatever today and I think that's because it's one of the most important things I believe that tongue I believe that the Holy Spirit is a supernatural weapon uh, the Word of God says uh, uh, put on the whole armor of God for don't fight against flesh and blood and it says that um, all these things are tools and weapons and the Holy Spirit is a weapon Holy Spirit is a tool the Holy Spirit is a person living inside of you God living inside of you and the Holy Spirit is all about action but there is no action from the Holy Spirit unless there's words first and that's why uh, the word says that um, those who believe will speak in new tongues uh, and in James it says that the, who can who can control the tongue it's uh, uh, it's a uh, sets nature and everything on a course of fire and if you can control your tongue you can change anything so tongues is of God and we have a new tongue we speak in tongues and that is an unknown language so um, what I want to go over is what initially happened in Acts 2 um, Acts 2 1 when the day of Pentecost had fully come and remember that they were told to wait until the Holy Spirit came and endued them from power on high and that was the beginning of the church now this is the end of the church because it's end times so don't you think the end should be more powerful than the beginning because we are a lot worse off here now than we were then and if they needed that then we need it now so the Holy Spirit is for today the Holy Spirit is for now and the Holy Spirit is for everyone and it, well, let's go on it says they were in one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind and we talked about this the day before and suddenly uh, okay filled the whole house where they were sitting and it filled the whole house now remember you are God's house in heaven are many mansions there are many houses heaven is God's house and inside God's house are the houses we are inside God's house our body is a house on earth okay so and it filled the whole house so we are supposed to be filled the whole house is supposed to be filled with the Holy Spirit and they were sit and where they were sitting and there appeared to them divided tongues okay if the first thing that the Bible says about the Holy Spirit is about tongues don't you think that tongues is pretty important and that's going to be the biggest thing the devil is going to fight so it appeared to them tongues okay so you're getting a new tongue you are getting tongues as a fire the Holy Spirit baptizes you with fire and what is the fire the fire is tongues and God's just saying this to me now I'm just getting this now the Holy Spirit baptizes you with fire what is the fire the fire is the tongue tongues Holy Spirit tongues okay and as tongues as a fire and they sat on each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance the Spirit gave them utterance once they're filled with the Holy Spirit that is what gives them utterance you can speak you're filled with the Holy Spirit you can you can speak in tongues anytime you want to there's a mosquito on my back uh, you can speak in tongues because you're filled with the Holy Spirit anytime you want to that's the utterance he gave you speak in tongues anytime you want because you're filled with the Holy Spirit so I just want to tell you that being filled with tongue being filled with the Holy Spirit is being filled with tongues speaking in tongues I'm not talking about going to church and going la 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 yet real loud and everybody listens and then they interpret it that is the gift of tongues that is for certain individuals just like when you're in church you have a gift, a gift of uh, healing or prophecy or, or interpretation which is for the body for that time I'm talking about uh, every day the Holy Spirit is a weapon in you uh, and speaking in tongues is a weapon and a tool that you've been given on earth so don't not receive that tool so my name is Robin Bremer and that's my little lesson on tongues today 
I hope you can get a hold of it because it's pretty powerful. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Make sure you check out my website, robinbremer.net, and share it with your friends. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.